The molecular structure of water is the key to why Earth's temperature is warmer than you might expect. Yet it's in a cold place where we can begin to understand just why that is. This is Jokulsarlan Lagoon in Iceland. Isn't this all stunning? All these bits of glacier that have just fallen off from up there. We take scenes like this for granted. This is our impression of the Arctic and the Antarctic floating icebergs. But from a material science point of view, this, that thing, is really weird because it's floating with almost everything else. When you cool things down and freeze them, the solid will sink to the bottom of the liquid. But water is different. It floats. As a liquid, the molecules of water are constantly sliding past each other, always on the move. But as it freezes, their positions become fixed in a regular hexagonal lattice. Ice floats because the molecules in the lattice are taking up more space than in the liquid, which makes ice less dense than water. This happens because of the forces holding the molecules in position. Something that's more easily seen with water in its liquid state. I've got some plastic pipe here and a proper Icelandic woolly jumper because it's made of wool and therefore it's good at charging up the plastic. So this pipe now has an electric charge and what I'm going to do is put it near a stream of water and you can see that it bends the stream really strongly. And all the water's doing is falling, but it's being pulled towards the electric field. The reason for this phenomenon lies within the water molecules themselves. This is the water molecule, so we've got two H's. That's the H2, and then O is the oxygen at the top. And the charge on the molecule isn't evenly distributed, so it's more positive around here and it's more negative up there. So when the stream of water comes down, it's got all these molecules moving around inside it. When you bring the electrical field close, some of those molecules will flip around so that their opposite charges are attracted in to the electric field, so the whole stream of water moves. And it's such a simple demo, but it shows you that the water molecule itself has uneven charge distribution. And this has a huge effect on how water behaves. Within the liquid, the negatively charged oxygen atom from one molecule is pulled towards the positively charged hydrogen atoms of another, creating a strong attraction known as a hydrogen bond. And it's this bond that explains water's role in distributing heat around the planet. Hydrogen bonds are so strong that it takes a lot of energy to break them. And that means that the water in the Earth's oceans can absorb a huge amount of heat energy from the sun without changing from a liquid to a gas. The oceans act like a huge store of energy. And as they move, they distribute heat from the equator to cooler latitudes north and south. <laughs> 